Welcome to the Weekend Warrior Show Recap Pod. I'm Ty from the Unemployed Architects. This week, I had some shows this last weekend. I played at a uh, realtor party in Bloomington. I think it's Remax. And uh, so that was my day show on Saturday. And then Saturday night, I played in Decatur at uh, Door 4 Brewing, which has been a good, consistent show for me. Both shows were good. I mean, uh, the first one was went really well, and I don't know. It's kind of weird. I was kind of expecting it to go the other way. Like, I thought the first one would be kind of blah, and the second one would be, you know, uh, a little more, you know, focused and stuff. But anyway, so the, the, the first show I played at... Uh, it was outdoor, super windy. It was like ridiculous out. And I, I, I have that new sign that I've talked about before that I made that's just in a big picture frame. And essentially, you know, I, I've, I've gone through a lot of processing, I guess you could say, with, with it. Like I, I, got a, I got one stand for it that came pretty much broke and it blew over immediately. And so then I bought a, a easel which is a three three leg stand, and had almost the same project or this the same problem. It uh, blew over a bunch of times. So then I eventually uh, I got like ankle weights to weight it down, and it still <laughs> it still blew over a few times. But um, and I've gone through you know I have the the poster which is in a picture frame. My thinking was you know the picture the the poster frame or whatever would protect it really well and uh you know so the the actual paper banner part of it wouldn't get too messed up but i've gone this is my third picture frame i'm at right now right now so i don't know if this was the best but it was so windy i mean i i had the ankle weights which were five pounds on leg on each leg or on two of them and then i you know weighted the other things down with the bag a bag and uh blew out of the easel it blew the easel over like it was just so windy and it was kind of chilly but um for me as a for the performer doing the one man band thing you know it was the right temperature ultimately i you know i didn't sweat too much it just kind of was nice out i think for the people watching maybe it was a little chilly but uh and this this show has been rescheduled probably three times and uh so i was you know i was never positive it was going to happen, but it did, and it 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 went great. I mean, it, it was it was a fun show. I sounded better than average, better than normal, and so uh, you know, I played a lot of covers. I, I snuck in some originals here and there, but uh, you know, it was it was a, it was a party essentially, kind of. So it was like you know, keeping it upbeat, keeping it. Uh, what, what people weren't really there to see me. I was just supposed to provide you know a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of fun like a corporate event kind of thing and i just had more fun than i expected and that was nice and i feel like i performed well i got in and out reasonable times using my in-ears and i feel like that made it even more fun because uh, it was easy easy to sing so then in my head it's like oh i'm, I'm gonna kill this show later i'm gonna be all warmed up and this was a three hour set so and then the second show that day was a two hour set. So I was like, I'm gonna be all warmed up and I'm gonna play a lot more originals and it's gonna be awesome. And you know, I the only thing I can say is it just wasn't, you know. <laughs> I mean it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't like terrible. I wasn't like you know, people weren't running out of there with their ears covered or anything. I think I think I you know, from from all accounts it sounded great. Uh I just couldn't quite get in the zone. I, it was just a weird, I was indoor, you know, I went outdoor to indoor, and I think I might have just pushed the volume too loud or something, I don't know, it's like I couldn't hear it right, and I couldn't sing it right. I, I think some of, some of what happens in that situation is I'm just a little fatigued, you know, that fourth hour in, you're just like sucking wind, and you know, it, it's just, just not quite happening for me, but, uh, I don't know. I got all the all the originals in I wanted to play, so that was good and good feedback from the crowd and they've always been super supportive of me over there. So I, you know, I really can't complain about anything. Uh, it's just been great. 
ultimately uh, to have a have a place like that um, that will have me kind of once a month or once every couple months and but even they even they were like uh, usually it's busier I feel like I get that a lot when I play I don't, I don't know if that's uh, if that's my fault or not but they're, they're like oh it's just like last weekend it was elbow to elbow I don't know what the Am, am I the X factor? I don't really, I don't really know. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I just, I just have bad luck. <laughs> but, you know, it's whatever. It, it is what it is. I played as hard as I could, and you know, I got got good practice in ultimately, and felt good about it. Uh, you know, because I did it. You know, I sometimes just the completing of it is a nice feeling even if it didn't go exactly how you wanted wanted it and then of course you know i'm making my money that way now too so it's like you know i i can i'll survive another week hooray um but uh so yeah that was the decatur show uh monday i actually played i picked up a show like the friday before the monday uh at weft sessions in champagne this is a place, I think the guy had said that we had done five performances in the last 10 years. So, I mean, we've played there a lot over the years. Um, and, you know, my thinking is I got that TV performance this coming week. So I was like, if I get in front of a camera for this show, then, you know, it'll be good prep. And I think ultimately that was the right call because there was a lot of little things that happened that, you know, I, I can hopefully fix by the time I do the big TV thing. Um, but, uh, you know, it didn't, it, it's not like it went off without a hitch, but there was definitely hitches. Uh, one of the main ones being on the, on the way down, because it's late, it's late on Monday, it's 10 to 11, so I was driving there around 8, between 8 and 9, I got sideswiped by a car that was passing me, and they were just like, I, I was in the left lane, um, and this car just came flying. So I was just like, all right, I'll just let them pass on the right. And they clipped me. It was, it was that, you know, that put me in a weird headspace. Try to get some pictures. I honked a lot. Try to get them to stop. Could not. They just drove off. So um, I, I now have a nice dent and scratch in my car, which, but anyway, that was kind of a weird way to start. And then the guy that runs the sound there, he got a bunch of new gear, I feel like. And he was kind of, it was more on the camera side of things. So he spent most of his time setting that up. So I didn't feel like we had, you know, necessarily a good amount of actual uh, sound check. You know, I feel like I had everything plugged in and then we only had about 10 minutes to actually check stuff. So that ended up, you know, a little weird. Uh, I, he, he had, I think it was three cameras that he was kind of setting up and... He put them on this weird table too, which kind of because there's the commu uh, champagne community something they they do a, vi a separate video, and then he does his own. But like the table was in the shot of the, so it just looked weird. Um, and then like after the first four songs, I realized my feet weren't even in the shot, which you know I'm doing foot percussion. Uh, it's kind of a big part of the performance, really. So I was a little, you know, I was like, I should, I should. Every time I, I, I think I don't need to say something like that, uh, I end up and should I have, <laughs> you know, I should be always, but when I do say it, I always feel like an idiot and like I'm telling them how to do their job. But uh, anyway, so I don't know. None, none of the performances were perfect. Uh, a lot of okay. A lot of better than average okay. I, I sang really well, I think. Uh, didn't play great. And I don't know. There, there's always one thing in a song. I mean, at least one thing, I would say, that kind of bugs me. But um, anyway, so all that being said, I think I'm going to get, you know, four or five videos that are... I'm going to edit the, the, the secondary, the community champagne community tv or whatever uh youtube because they just put it up on youtube so i'm gonna edit that shot in with the other ones so it's gonna look hopefully pretty cool it's gonna have like a lot of multi a lot, lot of camera changes like different angles some zooming stuff like that it's gonna make it look more professional and it sounds pretty professional in the songs i'm gonna do 
So, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm looking looking forward to getting that stuff out. Ryan Wolf's going to help me with some of the editing, which is definitely a load off. Because he's, he's really good with that type of stuff. So, um, and then, you know, so I've already started doing that. Uh, and then, you know, I'll have plenty of talk to talk about next week. Well, two weeks, I guess. I got two shows this weekend, uh, one at Houdini's on Friday, and then Saturday I play at Golden Fox Brewery in Decatur, so I'm back in Decatur. And uh, I don't know. I Those shows will hopefully be fine. They'll be good run-throughs for the TV performance uh, Thursday. So that'll be a interesting podcast. After that, I'm sure I'll have a lot to say. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's all that's really been going on. I'm just trying to get ready for that. Trying to get some of those videos edited so I can start releasing those. And that'll be nice just to have a good one-man band kind of multi-cam thing to show people like when I'm trying to book stuff because... You know, that's really what it'll sound like ultimately is the one man van because I mean, that's all I've really been booking and doing lately. So I don't have a lot of good content on that front. So I'm looking forward to having some. But, you know, it's not not cheap to get stuff edited like the right way. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm sure I'll get I'll probably get three really good videos. Then I'll get two like subpar kind of because the first ones I mean, he didn't. He didn't mic my uh, tap shoe foot tambourine, so, like, you can't hear that at all in the first, like, half of the performance. So, it doesn't, and you can't see it. You can't, you can't see the, the 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 foot percussion. So, it's like, it's it doesn't really feel like you, in, I mean, you can hear the kick drum. It's just not super prominent, especially on, like, a cell phone. If you listen to headphones, you can definitely hear it, but I don't know. So, I'll probably get, you know, two or three really good kind of versions of me doing that and then a couple just kind of okay like vocals sound good kind of videos although you know it's a little bit of a bummer because it's like of course my vocals aren't going to be as good as if I was just singing and playing because I'm doing the extra stuff you know I'm making it sound like a and I think even if it's unconsciously people take that into account like oh he's playing drums and guitar and singing so, you know, you get a little bit more leeway on that. But like I said, it was good prep. Lots of little things that kind of gave me a heads up for what I should be on the lookout for, for the TV thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'll be talking about. That's what I'll be uh, – that'll be two weeks. That'll be talking about that next week. I'll be talking about the shows this weekend. And, um, I don't know, that's it. That's what's been going on. Uh, thanks for anybody who takes the time to listen, and I'll talk to you next time.